Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So next up in our picks you might not know about but should video series, we're going to take a look at V picks. So just as a reminder, uh, this is not a pick shootout video series. We're not even re really reviewing the picks. This is basically just um, a series of here's some cool picks you might not know about that I think you should be aware of. That's basically all we're doing here. I'm not even going to be playing guitar in these videos. So I need to thank Nancy and Vinny for sending me these, you know, V-Picks. Uh, they sent me a nice collection of them to check out. Now, um, I've had some V-Picks in my collection for a while. And actually, this one here, um, I bought a used guitar about eight years ago. And in the gig bag, in one of the pockets, there was this lone V-Pick Screamer pick. So um, I don't know exactly how old this pick is, but I know it's at least eight years old because I've had it for eight years, right? Um, and it looks just like all the new V-Picks that they sent me. So I can attest to the, you know, the durability and the long, you know, long life of a V-Pick because, like I said, I've, I've had this one and have been using it for at least eight years. So as I've said a few times, you know, in this video series, um, these, the V-Pick was a pick when I first, you know, got it. Uh, I thought, oh, that might be slippery, but I'm happy to report it's not slippery at all. The material's fantastic feeling. It's a very high quality, you know, feeling pick. Um, and I can attest every V-Pick that I've tried, um, I've really liked, and I think they feel really, really excellent. Uh, the material they use is, is really high quality. So like we're doing in all these videos, we're going to compare the picks to a tried and true Dunlop Tortex. It's a pick that I, you know, I'm pretty confident that, that everybody you know, is aware of the size and shape of these picks. So I thought it would be a good comparison. So first up here, we have a V-Pix Euro pick. Um, it's, I would liken that to maybe something like a Jazz 3. And then that's next to a V-Pix Chicken Picker, which is their teardrop size pick. In this pick, you can see the V-Pix Screamer pick, um, kind of like a shield shape. Uh, and next to that is my eight-year-old V-Pix Screamer. And you can tell uh, it doesn't even look like it's been used. So these picks are definitely long-lasting. In this pick, you can see a V-Pix Tradition UL. And uh, on the other side is a V-Pix Rockstar, which is pretty much the same size of a Tortex, uh, but it's got a much sharper tip on it. And in this final pick, uh, you have uh, what, probably my favorite of the V-Picks, the V-Pick Switchblade. Um, slightly longer than a Tortex and a much sharper tip on it. And then on the other side is one of the V-Picks Mummy uh, picks. And it, it has these uh, etched lines going through it. it. makes it extremely grippy. So I pretty much liked every V-Pick that I've tried. Um, if I had to pick one, I'd probably pick either a Switchblade or a Screamer. Um, probably the Switchblade though. Actually, uh, my ideal V-Pick would probably be like a Switchblade that was slightly shorter in its overall length. Uh, but to be honest, Vinny probably already makes that exact pick and I just haven't come across it yet. He makes a ton of picks. So there's probably, you know, already a slightly shorter Switchblade out there that I'm just not aware of. So Vinny, if you're watching this and you do make that kind of pick, let me know which one it is. So out of all the picks that I've used throughout, you know, all the years that I've been playing guitar, V-Picks has definitely been, you know, one of the brands that I that I really like. I just really like their picks a lot. And I think, um, you know, that Nancy and Vinny do a great job with their company and their picks. And they're just, they're just really nice human beings to boot. So it makes it nice to support, you know, their company. So I'll put all of V-Picks information down below. So if you want to check them out, you have that information. I want to thank you guys for checking them out with me. We'll see you next time.